Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of composing in pentatonic parallel. Part 29, Full Media Expression, Part 2. In today's episode, we reviewed what we'd done since last time. We reviewed what we'd written about full media expression. Uh, we also saw a t another turtle today on our morning walk. Well, more about turtles later. And we thought further about how to add voice. And in order to add voice narrative to this, we need cues. Because if you look at the actual shadow sonnet right up, um, especially in the one that's written for the open mic version, you have to say these things at different points in the score, specific points. And we actually know what those specific points are because we put them in there in the detailed timeline here way back when. You know, bar 98, bar 145, and so forth. So that kind of led us thinking about what to do next. Uh, we did a lot about you know, where are we going. But for this session, we said, let's make a movie of the MIDI animation. Let's make a movie of the... Uh, um, Muse score animation and, and see if we can combine those with the uh, magic music visualization. So we did that. What do we mean by the magic? This one. This is the one you've seen us working with quite a bit. So we went back and we did this. Here is the score. And what's cool about this is we were able to edit the shimmer line and the lyric line so we could hide everything else and use this as a synchronization track. This tells us when the next line is coming up. Uh, for example, any second now, there it is, the next line, bar 51. So that, that matches our, our timeline. Then the other thing that we made a video of was the... MIDI. Because we thought it might be fun to, as we said, the idea is to, to mix all of them into one composite video and make sure we add a lyric track that shows the, oh my god, the 37 separate lines that are in the actual written sonnet. There's 37 of these things if you add them up and we just numbered them by, by section that they're in. So that's, that's where we are now. We have gotten our way through eight out of those 37 lines. And you just saw us demo a bit of it. So that leads to questions of uh, where do we go next? So complete adding the lyric lines and then start positioning them. Because if you look at where they are, they're all smack dab in the middle of that. And we... Right. We don't probably intend to use uh, the Muse score. Uh, we probably are going to have them against that. But depending on, on where we are, uh, I think we got as far as... Yeah, here's a moon scene. Now you can't see it anymore, so we're going to have to change the colors while we're at it. Yeah, look at changing colors to match the scene changes, etc. Um, however, we just wanted to get finish putting that row, this row here, all the way across where we have a lyric that, that uh, matches the, the actual sonnet. So that's the next step. Then we also have the option, and this is why we decided to have uh, more than one video be visible. We have this video here That can be shown. Which one do we want here? Just give me a minute to keep track of all these layers. Oh, you need to be up. That's the video man. That's the video muse. Oh, I know. I need to mute you and mute you. And now we can see it. And of course, you really can't see the lyric there, but if we jump back 
to you can't see the lyric anywhere because this whole screen is black what we have to do here to make that work is and we'll demonstrate it because why not in this lyric right here we'd have to say you know I'll just make it green for a minute there there's the lyric so that's we definitely are going to have to change colors of the lyric based on whether we show the uh, the MIDI animation or we show the score animation which has a piano by the way that's kind of cool to see the piano playing down here and we're, we're going all the way from a C1 on the piano to actually E6 and then finally uh, again original animation so that's the ideas for what's next with this series we also brainstormed a bit about where to go next and this year we have completed three major composing series called the ballad the pulse and the shadow and we're still looking at where we want to go next as we complete this series and uh, we also were kind of intrigued that we edited the score as we showed you we edited the score in such a way that it showed um, only these two lines which could be used to synchronize with the animation so that's where we are and I guess to wrap us up we will um, why don't we just start almost where we ended here this is uh, let's pick a plot we still want to show you where the lyrics are this lyric and this lyric it's kind of fun to show how how we how we synchronize with the um, right just before there let's show this and we'll temporarily drag this up a bit it's fuzzy because the because All right, so we're just going to watch this little part to kind of take us home. Okay, that's too too close in there. We need to move up a little bit. Right here is where we want it to take you. Transition. Now you're going to have to squint to see how this changes. Watch right there. Right there. And coming up again. You can also track it down here. The next lyric is coming now at the softening. So that concludes our stream. Thank you for your time and attention. We look forward to seeing you in the next episode. And as always, keep on streaming.